Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be breaking down a Brawl Talk for you guys. I do get it a bit early uh, just before you guys see it, so I've got the chance to break it down and give you guys my best thoughts on Brawl Talk. So just a quick one as well, I will be away on holiday for about a week, so I've got no pre-recorded content because of the update. I don't get any information until I'm actually flying in the air, so I can't pre-record anything. So let me know whether you just want to see some type of content with just gameplay, uh, but I'll have to try and figure something out if not i just won't be uploading for a week so before we jump into it make sure you're using the credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's hop right into it okay so first we're gonna have to take a look at the brand new brawler otis so otis in design he has a sea helmet on and he shoots through his hose so it looks really really cool uh with his main attack it deals 690 damage per bullet and that's around 2000 uh per ammo because he shoots three per attack so his paintballs actually uh, mildly spread the further it goes, so it makes it a little bit easier to hit those shots at the longer range. His super makes it uh, so opponents cannot do deal any damage or use or activate anything. So this actually lasts for four seconds, and it kind of works like a bell uh, super. So once you mark an opponent, last four seconds, it will literally uh, deactivate uh, gadgets, supers, and their main attack as well. So pretty OP stuff. And then also his super, I think, charges for at least six hits. So there are also 13 new skins that come into Brawl Stars. So the tier 70 skin is going to be the Ferraosis skin. Looks pretty cool. We have a tier one skin with Shark Tooth Colt. So another tier one Colt skin. We have Coral Bell. We have Octofang. We have a Power League Postal Brock skin, which looks pretty cool. We have a new Super uh, Cell Make skin, which is DJMs, which is coming in August. And then you have a really cool collaboration with BT21. Uh, which is going to be really, really cool. You've got a new Eggar skin. You've got a new Ruff skin. You've got a new BB skin. Sandy, Jackie, Bull, and Tick. All of these skins look so good. And they'll be coming as a, like a bundle as well. So I can't wait for all of these new skins. We have a brand new game mode coming to Brawl, which is called Hunters. So basically, it is a showdown and wipeout combined. First player to get six kills wins. You get to respawn as well. And the crown on top of your head shows who's winning in the lobby. So I feel like this will be a pretty cool game mode. We have some much needed club league changes. So for the... One week, we will be having uh, the normal club league as normally playing it three times a week. And then the next week, it is club quest. So with club quest, you actually get a smaller amount of rewards. But then uh, for that smaller amount of rewards, we're getting more for club league. But overall, you won't get any more rewards as before. It's just so a little you get a little bit of a rest in between. So with club quest, you get free quests to complete as a club. And playing with club mates, you can get times two progress. So this is pretty cool. So now with power league, you're actually able to suggest a brawler finally to your team. Teammates. so it's been such a long time for this improvement but i feel like this is definitely going to help especially in the lower tiers of power league we have something fun coming to brawler as well there's a new event slot so you get to play a match from random pool of modes maps and modifiers it's not available every single day but for that this would be a nice change if you just want to play something casual so finally guys we are getting a penny remodel and a penny rework so i thought it was a little bit too much of a teaser to just have a penny remodel they're actually going to rework us so they're actually making the range shorter and making the projectile speed faster so that is exactly the type of thing that will make penny a little bit more viable just making that projectile speed faster will really help her in those 1v1 interactions she'll be getting a new gadget so she'll be dropping a barrel so you can shoot through it so you can deal that uh, extra splash damage to the enemies i don't feel like this will be too op maybe in some certain areas you could get some good damage but I just feel like it won't be the most broken. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the turret now signals where the bomb goes. So it's going to make it a little bit easier to dodge, which is pretty nice. And the balls of fire style power is actually baseline now. Uh, so just like I said in previous videos to make Penny a little bit better, I said multiple of these changes would actually make her really good. And they've actually implemented both. So that is pretty nice. And then also that makes room for a new style power. So I couldn't actually work out from the brutal talk brawl talk what the new star power would be but i feel like it could be something to do with her cannon like making it shoot faster more accurate we'll have to wait and see okay so the last few points of the brawl talk then so with challenges there's going to be a lot more challenges appearing with the update which is which i've always said would be a really nice thing for brawl stars because they're some of the most fun things in my opinion anyways especially some of the crazier challenges and they will re reappear multiple times throughout the year so if you miss a challenge don't worry it will reappear later in the year and then also sprays have been reduced in price a lot so i know for sure 
basically the whole community weren't buying any sprays unless they were at a reduced price so they've actually reduced this by quite a lot so for 19 gems uh for a brawler spray which i have none of because they were so expensive and then 29 for the normal so this is a really nice change i think i'll probably pick up all of the sprays now and then people who brought the uh, sprays previously they'll be getting a reimbursement for the amount of uh gems difference all right guys gonna be it for today's video so i'll give you guys a brief uh, rundown of what i think of the brawl talk as well so also there's going to be a giveaway on so many different creators uh social medias so make sure to check out their hashtag octofang giveaway you'll see it in the brawl talk anyways but i'll be doing one on twitter so i'll link that in the description below so i'll briefly run down what i think of brawl talk then so the new brawler otis i feel like otis might be a little bit underwhelming in terms of damage he doesn't really do any damage uh, whatsoever in my opinion he's got some decent range uh, but also his super could be game breaking so that mechanic uh, can be so strong four seconds the de uh, deactivating literally everything i feel like could be really op it's basically the better version of the grounded star power for bell i felt like that star power should have done more of so what this super does but it'd be pretty interesting to see how good he is the skins they look pretty cool especially the collaboration i love the line friends collaboration probably my favorite collaboration upon the entire brawl stars kind of set especially with skins like this for example i just absolutely love and then uh talking about other things also we've got the new game mode uh takedown uh solo so it isn't really the most exciting uh, new game modes especially like that just feel like a combined thing uh club quests i feel like it's a nice change bit disappointed that there's no increased uh rewards but i feel like you still get a lot of rewards with club league anyways especially uh, the amount of progression like i've already got probably like 3500 see how many i've got and it does get some decent uh, progression especially on my free to play account uh so also we have the power league improvements that's pretty standard for me especially considering we should have probably had that when power league first dropped uh next we have the penny remodel so this is really interesting so penny's remodel feel like penny is going to be pretty op with this what do you guys think about it i think she's going to be so so strong especially when the brawlers kind of get reworked and get like stuff added to their baseline stats we saw with daryl we've seen with mortis we've seen with multiple other brawlers that have had a baseline i think mr p's been the only brawler that hasn't had uh, any type of like meta because of that change i feel like penny is going to be pretty meta with the update so i'm pretty excited about that one uh special challenges are pretty cool we have the new sprays which are pretty cool so that is pretty much everything i've given my opinion on a lot of different things so let me know what you think of the brutal in the comment section below overall i'll probably give it like a 7 out of 10 it is pretty cool i'm a bit disappointed that there's not any like uh like complete uh reworks or uh in the terms of like something really new to the game right i just feel like there needs to be something to kind of catch uh capitulate uh the brawl stars kind of scene you know there's no uh like fun things to do with like map maker anymore or just a bunch of different things that kind of drove people away from the game like gears for example so i was hoping for a little bit of rework to gears maybe or in terms of progression because it just takes so long to get to power 11 but anyways that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time